Here we go. Radio Cop Podcast. I'm your host, Al Martinez, also known as Alpha Mike. Today's episode 314, No Report. It's the episode that we're going to discuss why in the world would the FBI not have accurate reporting measures in criminal statistics? And why in the world? they change their system and not necessarily train everybody at the same time. A whopping amount of police agencies just stopped reporting. But more on that in a minute. We have a lot to talk about today. Of course, as you know, presidential elections are still steaming forward towards November 5th as the media continues to highlight Che Mala. That's right, Che, like the Che Guevara in Mala, like in bed, if you're a Spanish speaker. Che Mala has gone from putz to princess in a blink of an eye to the amazement of millions of Americans. What we see now is that she is winning the race. And if you believe that, I might have a bridge for you somewhere out in the Nevada desert for sale. It's mind-boggling, but it's real. It's happening. It's here today. We also see that Robert Kennedy Jr., which was running first as a Democrat, then as an independent, endorsed President Trump for the good of the country, for the good of the order. We cannot be memorized by the propaganda that millions of Americans have seen at the Democratic Convention. It was all fluff, no substance, and no policy. They actually said that they were going to, or Che Mala said, day one, she was going to fix it. Never mind, she had our mind trick that she was in charge for three and a half years as vice president. No, 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 no. When she gets in, it's all going to be fixed. Mind-boggling, but happening. Time to get your voter's registration card brushed off. Make sure everything's in order. We're about 75, 76, something like that, days away. Don't wait for the last minute. Another piece of advice that I give, don't vote on November 5th. Vote early. Why? You don't think the Demis, the lefties, are going to find out what the toll numbers are coming into November 5th with early voting all around the country? Mayhem, all bullshit will happen November 5th in order to stop the wave that's coming. So vote, vote early and make sure you bring a lot of people which, of course, are eligible to vote and vote wisely. If you're looking for good gun training in the Tampa Bay area, RadarCopTAC.com, we can train you as whether it's in revolver, pistol, shotgun, elements of a rifle, whatever you're looking for, beginner, intermediate, we can teach you. RaiderCopTAC.com is the website. Also, if you're looking to hear all our podcasts from number one to number 314, that's a lot of listening. It is RaiderCop.com, RaiderCop.com. Want to give us a call? 
942-7400. And for you Nastagram people that want to send us emails, Raider Cop Podcast, all one word, at Proton, P-R-O-T-O-N dot me, M-E. We are gearing up for episode number 314, where we're going to talk about the famous data bank criminal justice system in the NIJ, the National Institute of Justice, that requires from the Justice Department and the FBI police departments up to 18,000 of them to report their criminal, criminal statistics. You know, burglary, robbery, homicide, petty theft, all that. But there has been a serious hiccup in the system. We're going to discuss that and why that hiccup happened. Is it convenient not to report nowadays? Makes you wonder, and we're going to dive into it. But before we do that, we're going to open up our Bibles, and we're going to go to Hebrews 13, 1 through 2. That's Hebrews chapter 13, verse 1 and 2. Let brotherly love continue. Do not forget to entertain strangers. For by doing so, some have unwittingly entertained angels. Hebrew 13, 1 and 2. Sometimes you entertain angelic beings is the promise that God has told us. Make sure you treat all people the way you would want to be treated. It's important. It's important that you get into Scripture. It's important that you live by the Word. It gives you solid foundation not foundation on sand, because sand, you'll sink. You ever go to the beach as you're walking along, you're sinking into the sand? Yeah. You want to build it on the rock. Solid foundation in that scripture. Our episode is 314, and we're talking about no report. It is something that Americans really ignore, either ignore or don't know too much about it. They don't even understand what would be the logic of reporting all this data to the FBI. But we're going to look at that and a lot more issues. One thing I want to talk about today is how the Democrats, and this is in the intros, it's still an intro. Don't get excited on me. How the Democrats are losing federal court hearings with respect to the Second Amendment. Over and over, their overreach of our guns by this administration is historical. The turnaround time from these lawsuits have been pretty astounding. The court system has overruled, thrown these things out, and really supported the Second Amendment. It's hard to say that as an American citizen, you and I cannot carry a weapon what type of weapon, or what condition you can carry it in, or how many rounds you can have, or what piece of equipment it can have. It's all mind-boggling. And thank God that our court system, as of now, they've sided with us. The ATF continues to masquerade like a law enforcement agency. Alcohol, you know, you remember during Prohibition, 1929, I believe it was? Well, 
You can drink now. No regulation against alcohol. So what in the world are they talking about? Alcohol is legal. Tobacco, really? Everybody and their mother is smoking. You can go down the street driving. It comes right through your vents. Contact time. Go to a vacation spot and just walk down the block. We went to Las Vegas last year. My gosh. It was all over the place. So the alcohol and the tobacco aspect of the ATF, three-letter alphabet agency, is neutralized, gone, finito, doesn't exist. Oh, so that leaves the F. Firearms. That's not something they're trying to make us safer. That's something they're trying to take away. They write regulations over and over with a sinister, <laughs> we got them now, every time they write something. Now, I'm sure there's a lot of good employees that work there that are believers in the Second Amendment. But it's not your fault that there are assholes in charge of you. And you have to follow direction, orders. But they are the enemy to the law-abiding citizen that supports and carries the Second Amendment dear to them. Our God-given right, that's what we say. That's what we believe. So, as the ATF continues to masquerade around like a law enforcement agency, you know, they also got the explosive part, too. Yeah, that's the new name. But they, it doesn't fit in the alphabet of three letters, so nobody says it. But their real name is the alcohol, tobacco, firearms, and explosives. But uh, and explosives is too too big. We don't no, no. We took that out. We stand with the three letters, three three letter alphabet, A T F. <clears throat> so we've been hammering them pretty good in our lawsuits, and we encourage you to continue to tell your legislator, keep your crummy hands off my gun. Our forefathers knew what they were doing. It's our responsibility to be good gun owners, responsible gun owners, and the militia at the ready, as the Second Amendment states. Episode is 314, and we're going to be discussing no report. Like we used to say in law enforcement down in Miami, no report 09 back in service. But are these agencies all back in service if they haven't reported? What happens next? I'm going to discuss that and some more on this episode. As the short bus pulls up and brings in the main event, episode 314, no report.